Hey everybody, welcome to part... And his friends oh, I've forgotten what part it is. 14? Something Ganondorf. like that? Ganondorf. Yes. yes. 14. Where we thought things were good. And, we uh, thought everything yeah. was over. But no. this is this is Hyrule Warriors. My name is Chris. My name is Trey. We uh, Hello. we botched this intro up quite nicely, I think. Yep. <laughs> you're Chris, I don't think you're allowed down, to do Trey, because anymore. you forgot to set the audio levels down. I did. I, I really did. His first this is going to be really loud. Fixed it. Yep, fixed it. But anyways, yes, we are console freaks, and we are playing Hyrule Warriors, and we are playing as Ganondorf because we have... Ganondorf we are we are here dead. to rise again because Sia, you know, she can't get the job done. You know, never send never send a big boobed woman to do a big boobed man's job. Exactly. Big haired man's job. Big haired. Big haired. His big hair is amazing. <laughs> it really is. He he could kill people with his hair. Just look at it, and they would burst in flames. It's kind of it's kind of. Uh, uh, it's very much a lion's mane type deal. Yeah. But uh, we have Zant and uh, Girahim on our side, and we're going to Bizarre. reclaim our rightful title as Demon King. What? But, uh, His I hair. Have, I have changed the skin. Uh, he is from Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Oh, uh, look at you, buddy. Look at his look at his earrings. And his I was talking piece. about his nose, man. His nose, yeah. He could smell a fly break wind from Africa. <laughs> why you have to why you have to choose Africa, huh? You think all flies in Africa fart? Hmm. I'm I'm just saying that's a long ways away from here. <laughs> that's true. That's kind of complete opposite side of the world, bro. <laughs> Actually, that'd be Beijing, my friend. I got nothing to say. <laughs> oh my god! I think Beijing's like twelve hours, live like exactly twelve hours from here. I think well, time that, time zone wise. Does that constitute halfway across the world? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll take your word on it, mate. So what's the purple bar there? That is, um, certain characters, kind of like Phi. Ah. Uh, where they have certain gauges that will charge up, and if they have a max charge, then they do a little bit more damage. Um, but also, with, with Ganondorf, the way to charge that bar is to use a special attack. Gotcha. The way to waste that bar is if you use his standard, just, just press uh, X while you're just going around, yep. he will do a shockwave attack, which depending on how much of that bar is filled, will do either a lot, a lot of damage or a little, lot of damage. Now, just... I know you said that whenever you're first starting off as Ganondorf, well, obviously you wouldn't start at 37, but whenever you're first starting off as Ganondorf, he's actually not that strong. He is level one when you get him. Yeah, it's like just the way his attacks look, looks like they'd be so powerful. Well, yeah, because his swords are big, his... Arms are big, and he's just a big guy. You know? it, just, it just looks like he's a monster. He really doesn't do that much damage. Though. Especially whenever, I think this here. Yeah, this here. Whenever you do that, it just looks like it'll destroy. It'll just just destroy the world. That's one of his better attacks. Yeah. Now you see those yellow dots on the map. We need to get those on our side. Ah, gotcha. Are those keeps? Those are, well, no. They're prisons. Prison. Prison. We have to free the dark nuts. Zant, get out of here. Zant. You're in your weird looking face. Still not used to seeing his face. Nobody's used to seeing his face. <laughs> Poor Zant. <laughs> Poor guy. His mommy is proud of him. <laughs> well, that gatekeeper didn't do his job. Not a lot of gatekeepers in this game really have their work. Uh, really do their job. See Ganondorf coming up, just like, oh, I'll just go ahead and open the gate. You, please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to hurt me anyways, aren't you? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, see, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I don't... I, please, no. <laughs> the gate's already oh. open. Why are you still hitting me? <laughs> yeah. Look at him. He's a... Ganondorf has, uh, he has some really good, like, 
area attacks. Yeah. That's about it. That's about all he's got going for him. Whenever he's not running, though, he's so slow. He's yeah. Like just, he is He is a really <laughs> slow character. He's so slow. They took his Smash Brothers physics and basically put it in this game. Except for he actually it uses made it a worse. sword. He actually what? Except for he actually uses a sword. Yeah. In Smash Brothers, he doesn't use anything. He just uses his fists. <laughs> and his feet. <laughs> well, unless you... Uh, he has a sword for one of his the custom moves, moves, yeah. His customs. But we don't Ooh. talk about that very much. <laughs> we don't talk about his sword. His swordsmanship. All of the rupees are mine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just poof. Get out of here, everyone. That's the thing where you've got, like, tons of enemies like this lined up. You can do so much damage. Yeah. I've already gotten a thousand KOs in this particular. I have just started this map. That's actually kind of shocking to see. Like, just how many things I have killed so far. There's just, uh, there's just so many small fry, pretty much. Just yeah. They're everywhere. It, it, that's... that's the only real explanation, because I didn't think I'd killed that many things. Guess I was wrong. I've killed everything. <laughs> no, no, please, no. Oh, God. I don't know what to talk about anymore. Freaking yellow things. Okay, so why exactly are you having to uh, free the people from the prison? Basically, it allows you to... Um, it, it, it gives you more reinforcements, whereas basically as you start the the map, you pretty much have you, um, Zant and Girahim, which yep. I mean Zant and Girahim are pretty pretty capable by, by themselves, but really it it helps having those extra captains to be able to take over keeps and stuff. Yeah, I like how you, how you just go up to the outpost captain and just smack him a couple times and just leave. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> it's, like, well, it's like, I didn't have to do this, but... With the outpost captains, you know, sometimes they're just a waste of time. Like, that's... Uh, some, I feel that sometimes they're just kind of there. They just kind of stand around and they don't really serve much purpose because they don't yep. really do anything. They don't really actively attack. Like, I guess they're just they're, there just to respawn enemies. Yeah, respawn small fry. Yeah. Which is good for you because, like, when you actually take control of them for yourself, it actually it does, like, it gives you some good reinforcements. And yeah. To me, it actually makes it better to, to have more under your control than it is to have enemies with with theirs or like it, it does more good for you than it does for your yeah. enemy I should say that's a better way of putting it gee I wish I could words today words are impossible to impress. yeah they're just not working mate <laughs> but so what is uh, it you have to do now since since you've got all the uh, all the uh, prisoners out of the prisons well you see that lower corner yep there's some settlements that I had to capture Right now, though, I have to take care of some loose ends. Basically, some some people that think they're a bit too big for their britches. <laughs> I, Ooh, that's what happens yourself. when you waste that uh, large the 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 uh, darkness meter bar thing. Goodness, death. It actually filled up pretty quickly. Yeah. That's it because up really fast. Goodness. Yeah, it, it fills pretty quick. Uh, because it fills when you use your special moves. <laughs> that's that's slow. about the only thing Ganondorf has going for him. Yeah. Is that he has a lot of attacks that do a lot of area damage. Other than that, though, it's just kind of eh. <laughs> I'm trying to see how quickly you can get to 2,000 KOs. Uh, well, actually, it's I'll be there taking before, longer now. So I'll, you, I'll be there before too long. Yeah. Because I believe I have to take care area. of some stuff in that top right corner, and uh, that's when that's when I'm gonna get a lot of my KOs. But also take into consideration, you remember how before I said that when you got to uh, Gindorf's part of the story mode, 
things got a little bit dickish yep. in the uh, the difficulty department. Like, there's a bit of a difficulty spike. This is where it really happens. And it could just be, you know, I, I'm Ganondorf and I have to assert my dominance as the Demon King in Gerudo Valley, which is pretty much why pretty he's much, here. Yeah. He's, you know, he's in the Gerudo Desert, which, you know, he's the Gerudo King. So he's got to reassert his dominance. But in the same light, you know, let's be fair. Because you guys are going to see in just a couple minutes, there's nothing fair about what's going to happen. <laughs> They, it's it's very unfair. I like how they actually have the uh, the Dinalfos and Arialfos um, talk. talking, and they have like uh, serpent esque voices. Mm. That's a. S <laughs> but also like how they, well I'm not sure if I like it or not, but eh, it's like how they have you basically go from one end of the map completely over to the other side. Why would you like that? It's annoying. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. It's, kind of, like, it's, nah, kind, of, it's kind of... It's definitely a thing. It's definitely a thing that they do. Uh, I don't particularly like it because like it, it serves one reason and it breaks the pace. Yeah. Because, you know, half the time it's not even that you have stuff to do between here and there. Like, it's just... Oh, you're done what you were doing over here? Well, go travel all the way over here. Spend a minute and a half traveling all the way over here and do the thing over here. And then change the objective right when you get up there. Yeah. Something else. Speaking of. Oh, hi there. Hi, Dodongo. You're a big boy. Ooh. I always do like the detail that they put into his scales. It looks Dude, very so shiny. pretty. His, <laughs> your spines are so pretty. <laughs> He's all the way on the other side of the map. That's a thing that I have to take care of. Because, uh... Yes, Zant. You Zant, can, you leave can fight King Dodongo to me. Okay. okay. And then, like, five minutes after that, Don, he's going to be like, Oh, God, help me! <laughs> For the love of God, please. <laughs> Why did I do this? Thankfully, it's not like in Fire Emblem, where if you lose a uh, ally in one of the missions, like, if you lose him for good uh, in the story. Yeah. Fire Emblem's like that. I'm playing through Fire Emblem right now. I'm not having a good... Actually, I am having a really good time, because for I haven't... I've only lost one character so far, and I'm pretty happy about that, because usually I've lost most of my characters. Yeah. You just kill well, then. Yep. Beat him easily with that. That's the thing. When I'm at at this point in the game, you know, think everything just goes quicker and easier. That's that's kind of why it's best to to level up a little bit before actually taking on like recording the story yeah. mode. Everything's just faster. It's easier. You know, it's a more comfortable journey in general. So cleared out that place. Now I have to go deal with everything else. Throw everything so, in pretty much. So King Dodon goes down there. We're, we still got to deal with him. We have... Right here. This is, this is just where things just get really, <laughs> really, really stupid. And he already... Like, Zant's already gone. Aren't you a king in your own right? You need help from me. <laughs> Then oh. this. Hello. Yep. Goma. We already got one big boss we got to worry about. Why not two? Yeah. So now now things are starting to look a little bit annoying, right? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, up. Oh. <laughs> now we've reached. Why do they throw all of them at you? I don't know. Like, is it just going to be these three, or is it going to be all of them? No, it's just those three. Oh, my gosh. If it threw, like, all of them at you, that'd be ridiculous. With, like, uh, the imprisoned and... Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> <laughs> just throw... Why not just give you three imprisoned? Why not? This is the part that I was talking about, where it's just... It's, it's so 
BS right here. Yeah. It, it's it's obnoxious because it's not that necessarily at this point in time you don't know how to deal with it. But, like, if you think about it, at this point in the story, you're level one. That's true, yeah. And have 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 you faced all three of them when you're just weak when you're like low that? leveled like that? That's hey, you have no. You have to take into consideration about basically not letting yourself die, and you have to fight three giant bosses. Yeah. That's not an easy task for somebody that's a higher level. But it, 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 yeah, this is where it gets stupid. And it just, it gets worse from here. Well, but I make a complete joke out of it because, you know, I know how to play the game. Dongo's dead. Dongo. Yep. Dongo. The other the problem is right. they can team up. Like, they, do they both come at you at the same time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what do they expect you to, to do at that time? Well, you could you could still defeat them, but uh, it's not something the, that you want to What's do. supposed to happen is you're supposed to kill Manhandler before it meets up with Goma, before Goma comes. Because what will yep. happen is one will protect the other. One will basically run interference while and make it so that you can't really do anything. However, I handle things like a trained professional. I just now realized that you've already passed 2,000. Yep. Oh, I passed that a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just never one KO from that. Look at you, moving up in the world. Pretty much. Oh, Manhandler, nut. But at this point, you know, you've seen Manhandler, you've seen Dodongo and Goma. There's nothing new there. Like, <laughs> you're supposed to defeat him before he gets to you, but he doesn't do anything that'll let you. Yeah, pretty much. seriously. Particularly with Manhandler, where, like, so much is left up to chance with, with his attacks, and you have to be really really conscious of hitting his weak spot whenever you can. Yeah, no, Goma's like how, just not letting me get a freaking combo in with this stupid laser eye thing. Yeah, and I like yeah. how Goma's laser eye thing goes through manhandling and hits you still. You want to see my health? Boy, I'm almost dead. Ooh. Luckily, you get some potions and yeah, we're back to a workable thing. I was really scared though because I only had half a heart left. <laughs> All That's one of them had to do was like breathe on me and I would have been dead. Pretty much, yeah. That's like, the point where I finish him off. <laughs> Seriously? What the heck? Pretty much, yeah. It's stupid. And now we're in a manageable situation. Poor guy. One at a time. Just the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of threesomes. And Gary and Gary, he was just standing there like, uh, yes, you, you he just do. he just bowed. Yep, he just sat there and bowed to it. He's like, what? Now he bowed to me, the demon king. The demon. He say yes, sir. I'll let you kill it. I'll yeah, just no, I'll give this one to you. Wouldn't want to steal your thunder. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that was that. Oh my gosh, that's completely nuts. Now this is the power of a god. Of imagine, course you'd say that, Zant, because you couldn't do anything to one of them, actually. Imagine the look on my face. Okay. Get to use... Like, I thought that the the game was over at the last, mi last, last mission. Yep. Now I get to play as Ganondorf. You know, extra story mode. And then that happens. My soul was crushed for a minute, and I'm pretty sure I failed that mission the first time. Oh, my gosh. But not this time. I'm too good. Ganondorf's too good. Just look at him. Is that the Come Guardian? 
I wish he had like the laugh of Freddy. <laughs> that'd be great. That'd be that'd be that'd be ooh, perfect. Ooh, right ooh, ooh. If Freddy had the animal, so. that'd just be scary. Yes, it would. Anyways, that's the end of the part. We will see you guys next time. Goodbye.